Welcome to East Coast LQ Reviews, and today I got another Founders beer. This is Azaka, and it's a uh, India Pale Ale. So I'm gonna read some stuff off Beer Advocate. Um, so Beer Advocate score on this was an 88, or very good. Uh, the bros haven't reviewed it yet, uh, so there's no score. Um, so it's uh, brewed by Founders Brewing Company out of Michigan, United States. If you want to check them out a little bit more, you can go to foundersbrewing.com. Uh, style of this beer is an American IPA. And the ABV or alcohol by volume is 7%. Um, availability is rotating. And the notes or commercial description on this is named for the Haitian god of agriculture, the Azaka hop boasts intense tropical fruit notes. Azaka IPA or Azaka IPA includes a touch of caramel malt to provide a sweet backbone to the citrus, mango, and orchard fruit notes. And the 7% ABV, 70 IBUs beer, the label arc artwork uh symbolizes the god of agriculture uh agriculture uh watching over a field where the ingredients used to make the beer are being grown so it's a little cool background story to the actual label itself um so uh yeah seven percent abv uh 70 ibus and i'm gonna crack this open now i'm gonna talk about the color uh, i'm not gonna try to pour it too fast Uh, went overboard there but saved it um, so as you can see produces a nice kind of khaki colored head uh, it's really uh, foamy um, doesn't look like it's going away too fast um, so the beer itself is kind of like a copper amber color it's kind of hazy you can't really see too uh, through it too uh, too easily um, so now I'm going to go for the uh, nose. Definitely get grapefruit. Maybe some citrus, maybe some mangoes. It smells pretty good. Um, it's not too strong on the nose. Definitely get hops. It's not overwhelming hops like I thought I was going to get. Um, definitely smells pretty well balanced um, as Founders beers uh, usually are. Uh, once this uh, head goes down, I'm going to go for a taste um, but yeah it looks like a pretty decent beer overall um, I'm not sure if this is unfiltered I think it is filtered but I'm not too sure so uh, it's kind of low heads getting a little bit lower so it's leaving kind of a nice lacing on the glass with the head so I'm gonna go for a taste Um, finish is pretty dry. Um, I'd say probably medium on the dryness. Um, it's not too hoppy. It's not as hoppy and floral as I thought it would be at 70 IBUs. Um, like I said, it's actually pretty well balanced. Definitely get some uh, nice grapefruit, maybe some mango. Um, it's a little malty. Kind of get like a sweet malt flavor to it. A little grainy. Um, so yeah, it definitely finishes with that nice floral hoppiness. Um, if you're someone who really enjoys IPAs, this is definitely a good one to check out yourself. Um, so I want to say the mouthfeel on this is about medium. Um, so yeah, you definitely can't sit back and uh, chug these. These are definitely some uh, more more of your uh, relaxing beers. Sit back, um, maybe on a nice warm day and just have a few. Um, the high ABV is actually pretty nice too. You don't really taste much of the uh, ABV at all. Um, so that's definitely blended well in the background. Um, so for a rating on this, I, I think I'm going to give this an 8. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I kind of wish uh, it was a little bit uh, stronger on maybe like those grapefruit notes. Um, it's definitely really good though. But uh, definitely dries you out. Uh, like I said, the finish is a little uh, a little dry. It's a little hoppy. But uh, yeah, it's definitely not bad. Uh, definitely recommended. Um, I believe the price on this was around 10 or 11 bucks for a six pack. So if you see it, uh, I definitely recommend picking it up. And uh, yeah, if there's any other liquor beers you'd like to see on my channel, 
Leave a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos on liquor and beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.